So, hello there and welcome to another tutorial. My name is Tanya Bakshi and this time we're going to be going over yet again another very interesting thing. However, this is much different than my other tutorial in one way. If you uh, are, su are a subscriber, subscriber to my channel and you have watched most of my videos, you know that I like to focus on Swift, iOS, and, as and Mac apps. Well, today I'm changing it up. Not by switching the OS platform, by but by switching the actual language. So today, I'm going to be doing a video on Objective-C instead. So, apparently this is going to be my first Objective-C video, uh, even though it should be very old. I mean, even though Objective-C was released before Swift, I actually started making videos uh, after Swift was released because I found it a bit easier. However, someone called Amrit, uh, you must have already heard him, uh, another link to a video that he suggested will be down in the description, uh, and you can check that out. Uh, and so he also suggested this one to me. Uh, however, his requirement was to have it written in Objective-C completely, 100%. You can't even use a little bit of Swift. So I used, as you can see, Richard's API to do this. Now first let's explain the app before I get into the API. This app allows you to use custom alert views, or I'm not exactly sure, I think in iOS 8 now they call them alert controllers, uh, however I just uh, call them alert views for, for, some, for some reason. However, the alert views still work, they're just deprecated. Anyway, so as you can see, this app will allow you to use custom alert views, but what does that mean? Let me give you an example. As you can he see here, I've given you a little example uh, because over here we have a little window and so this is going to be our alert view. It'll have three buttons on it, or at least that's our requirement. You can have it one button, two buttons, three buttons, or even four buttons, or even five. Uh, you can put as many buttons as you want here as long as their text will fit. Uh, and then I'm going to have a little image in this alert view uh, so that we can uh, actually use what this is for. Uh, because I, you can put images in uh, native iOS alert views, however it is much harder, so I just use uh, Richard's API in order to help us to do that. Uh, so yeah, that was really it. There's no algorithms to explain, there's no uh, uh, main flowchart to make, so let's get straight into the Mac part. I'll see you there. So welcome back to the Mac part of the video, and this is going to be a uh, considerably shorter video than my than the rest of my videos I usually are, but uh, I know you're all going to like it uh, because I haven't really found much documentation for this API, uh, which I will be giving you right now. So let's continue. As you can see, now I'm going to give you a demo of this app. Uh, this is the simulator running. We have a pretty blank screen, but we also have a button here called Show the Alert. I wonder what this could do. Well, it shows a picture of my face, apparently, and it also has three buttons, OK, Buy, and Cancel. So all of these three buttons do the same thing, uh, and so they weren't really programmed to do much, uh, but they all work. They close the alert view for us, and so again, this is using Richard's API, as you can see, uh, his name here, he created this in 2013. Uh, so. Yeah, uh, uh, his link for this uh, source code will be down in the description, and it's only two files. Uh, in Swift, it would have been one file because there's the header and the implementation. Uh, however, I'm not really uh, going to argue about that right now. Anyway, we have our app delegate, like always. Even in Swift, we do. Uh, and then we have our own header and implementation files. Uh, and as you can see in my header, uh, I am actually declaring uh, the show alert IB action. Here, I am defining our show, show alert IB action. Okay, uh, so in this show alert IB action, this is what's linked to our show the alert button. Uh, this will create a new alert, which is of type custom iOS alert view, uh, which is an implementation of Richard's API. Uh, and then we are creating an image view, which is a, just a fresh image view. We are creating a new variable called rect, which is a CG rect, uh, which is equal to the image views frame. We are setting the rect's height, height sorry, to 232. We are setting its width to 242. We are setting the image views frame to the new rectangle that we've modified. We are setting the image views image to myself, which I've stored in the XD assets file over here. Then back here, uh, uh, we are setting the image views content mode to UI view content mode center. We are setting the container view for the alert to this image view so that we can show the image view on the alert. Uh, and then we are setting the alert's buttons titles to OK, Buy, Cancel, and Nil. Then we are finally showing the alert view, which is very simple. You just do Alert Show. 
as you can see, that was a pretty s short video, uh, but that was really it. I hope you guys all liked it. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, or if you have any suggestions for future videos, or even anything on this, if you'd like me to modify this at all, you can just leave it down in the comments section below. You can even email me at tajimani at gmail.com. My email will also be down in the description if you didn't get that. Uh, and yeah, you can also subscribe to my channel if you like my content and you want to see more of it. And please like the video if you liked it. And that'll be all. Goodbye.